hello everyone welcome to my channel this is caroline chebet if it is your first time watching welcome so today in this session just according to the title we are going to talk about classification of hotels so before i classify each hotel individually i'm going to say that uh, we classify uh, hotels according to the type of uh, services they offer so the first way to classify or type of hotel is according to them size or number of rooms that are available in a hotel some hotels have rooms maybe below 200 rooms some have 200 to 300 rooms some hotels also have rooms above 700 so that is the first type of classification and the second type is according to the ownership or affiliation so ownership or affiliation can mean that there are some hotels that are independent and there are some hotels that are chain hotels and then the third way of classifying our hotel we can talk of the level of services that are offered so some levels can be we have world-class service we have middle or mid-range service or we also have budget or limited services and then the third and last way of type of classifying our hotel is target markets and so with target markets when you talk of marketing hospitality we are talking about the type of customers that you will attract so it can be business hotels it can be airport hotels or casino hotels so that is the four types of classifying a hotel so if i can go individually to explain each type of hotel so the first one here i have is apartment hotel so with apartment hotel of course they offer uh, they provide long-term permanent accommodation uh, for guests of course with this type of hotel guests usually make a lease, uh, lease agreement with the hotels because the lease can go for maybe one year and also it is a renewable so according to the type of the uh, years or months our guests want to stay they can always renew their lease with the hotel industry and then the second type of hotel we have is resort hotels so with resort hotels they are usually located in an island in a mountain we can say it is far from the cbd or the town or we can say that and also it is located in other exotic locations just away from the city so that is the second which is the resort hotels and they usually have so many amenities like golf club swimming pools we also have uh, beautiful sceneries tennis and and also sailing so those are the activities that guests can enjoy while staying in a resort hotel and then we go to the third uh, classification or type of hotel we have is city hotels city hotels are also called business hotels so these are the hotels that are usually found in uh, cbd uh, central business district or also on downtown they are just near town so it's very I can say it's the largest group of hotel types and cater primarily for business travelers because they're usually uh, located in town and of course we also have guest amenities uh, the hotels may also include complimentary newspapers free telephone calls and also morning coffee so those are the uh, some of the services guests can find when they are in any city hotels and then we go to the fourth one which is airport hotels from the name itself airport it says it it says that it, these look these hotels are located near the airport so it's very convenient for be, for people who don't want to travel far or to stay far from the airport it's very convenient and mostly some of these hotels might give free transport between the hotel and the airport and they most this type of hotel mostly uh, target clientele the business clientele airline passengers or airline personnel so that is the fourth type and then we have the fifth type which is extended stay hotels so extended stay hotels means that they usually do not provide any food and beverage services or laundry services to their guests the, these kinds of uh, hotels are for travelers who just want to stay for more than a week and they don't want any services or, and they do not depend on some other services of the hotel mostly the with the extended stay hotels they are usually offered housekeeping services but when it comes to food and beverage some of the customers prefer they cook for themselves and also buy their own drinks for, for various reasons 
And so the sixth uh, type of hotel I have here is bed and breakfast hotel. So they are usually also called inns. Okay, so these uh, are houses with rooms converted into overnight facilities. They have around 20 to 30 rooms. They are just uh, just small first, small rooms. They have small rooms. And of course, due to the limited services that are offered in uh, in or break, bed and breakfast hotel, the, of course, they are charging. Uh, they are not very expensive. That's what I, I, want, I meant to say. So it's very less than full service hotel. Okay. And then we also have the seventh and last one we have is conference centers so with conference centers of course from the name itself conference this type of hotel usually attracts the people who come for conference uh, facilities or they just want to have a conference in your hotel of course they have they focus on meeting and conference and overnight accommodation for meeting attendees and of course with conference uh, centers they make sure that they provide high quality audiovisual equipment business services flexible seating arrangement, flip charts, etc. So that is very important when you have conference uh, centers because they want to do a conference so you must make sure that you provide quality equipment. Of course, uh, with conference centers also, they have facilities like golf, fitness centers, swimming pools, and tennis courts that guests can always enjoy when they are, they have, they are, uh, they are in the hotel. So, for me, that, those are just the uh, seven uh, types of hotels, so we can say classification of hotels. There are seven, but there are so many that are still also available. So that is it for our session today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. But the most important thing here for us to understand is a guest can choose any type of hotel that um, they feel suitable according to their needs and wants. But the most important thing for the hospitality industry is to make sure that they provide a comfortable, enjoyable, and a good experience that is. They just provide a good experience for the customers that is a lifetime experience they'll always remember so that they can always have repeat business with their clients. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. So uh, I'll be giving you this content that are related to hospitality industry. So if you are interested in such content, feel free to like, subscribe and share this content to your friends so that they, they can also learn a few or, or a few about the hotel industry. Thank you so much. Okay, so don't forget also to click the notification bell so that you can be notified about my when I drop my new video. Also, make sure that you stay safe and thank you so much. Bye.